Hey guys, it's Allison here, and I'm getting ready to ch uh, tackle a layout for today. Um, full confession, I didn't do a layout yesterday, and I was kind of feeling like I didn't really want to do one today, but I need to not do that. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so I had pulled these photos and these papers several days ago. And I think the prompt was something about winning. And I sort of feel like I won the lottery when it comes to my family. Unfortunately, they live in England and Scotland and all sorts of places that I don't. Um, so yeah, so I had pulled them out and I had never got around to scrapbooking it. And it's a double page, which usually takes me a little bit longer. So I had left it, but I'm determined to get it done tonight. And I'm also going to tackle one of Chamel's International Scrapbooking Day challenges, which is to use a washing line of embellishments. Now, I know this is going to gonna be a big washing line because it's going to go across the two pages. And it will, in fact, be two washing lines because I can't have it attached, obviously, if I'm going to have them in two separate page protectors. Um, but I definitely want them to relate to one another. Okay. That is as far as I've gotten. Well, I, I pulled some some papers. Um, I had pulled this to use with a different layout and it didn't work, um, but I think I can use it here. And then as I was going through all my scraps, and I will show you my giant pile of scraps here. There's my giant pile of scraps. Um, I found this, and I like this because of the six girls. And these are all, they're all what are they? They are third cousins, because this is my second cousin and his girls, his wife and his, his three daughters that are basically the same ages as my three daughters. So the six of them together, I like the number six there. So um, I think I might try and find a way of maybe cutting that out and, and putting it on the washing line or just chopping this a bit smaller. I've also got a few papers that I can maybe use behind the photos to mat the photos. Um, I've been sort of hanging on to this cloud print and I think it works. There's some turquoise in the photos and I think I can bridge the turquoise and the, the more sort of grassy green in other things. So that is my plan folks and that's about as far as I've gotten. So rather than attempt to walk you through it live because it will probably take me quite some time to put this together. I am going to put some fast forward, organize my desk here, and, and yeah. Okay. This is, this is going to be, this is going to be a challenge. Okay. Let's start with those branding strips. All right. Wish me luck, ladies and gents. All right, so branding strips are coming off and Echo Park, I'm not sure if they've changed their policies yet, but um, on these branding strips, they don't have um, like a nice pattern on the full length of the opposite side. Um, one of them, this, the one with the clouds had a little bit of the red diagonal stripe. So I've cut that off to save for another layout. Um, now the cloud pattern, I wanted to have it on both sides of my layout and it wasn't really big enough to um, cut into a mat for both photos. So I've just cut two two inch strips and um, I will layer them behind the photos somehow. I haven't quite figured out how yet. And then um, I initially was going to mat that large photo with the black um, pattern paper. And then realized that I could actually fit both of my 4x6 photos by overlapping one of them just a little bit. So that's what I've done. Uh, I've matted the two 4x6 photos together on the black and that gives it a nice um, bit of grounding. And now I'm looking for something to go behind the large photo. It is sort of feeling a little bit naked to me. Um, so I'm trying to bring in some more blue and what you just saw me do there was just pull out my stack of blue papers. That's how I organize my papers, by color. Um, and yes, I know a lot of papers have different patterns on um, the other side, 
but what I generally do is I pick the pattern or the color that I am most likely to use and I put that facing up on my paper racks. So I've pulled out um, three different blue options that um, sort of turquoisey wood grain uh, which I eventually rejected for this blue <clears throat> excuse me heart pattern from Bella Boulevard and it's an older pattern it's been in my stash for quite some time um, but I liked the way the blue in this uh, worked with the cloud print better than the turquoise um, wood grain which was a schmel paper and I'm just going to put that aside for another layout and then I needed to bring in more of the green to make those um, two um, cards sort of work with all the the blues and everything that's going on so I pulled out my green stack and I decided on this um, green polka dot which is also from Echo Park I love their dots and stripes collections because they're so versatile and you can use them like I'm doing as a full background or just as an accent so they're and they come out all these different colors they're just fabulous so um, I cut that green polka dot into two one inch strips and um, I initially had everything sort of in the middle of my of, of each um, paper and then um, I was kind of struck by the idea of pulling everything up to the top and having it sort of like um, like everything's hanging from these um, I don't want to call them shelves but you know what I mean like everything's hanging from these two two strips up at the top um, and including the washing line and then also by having the photos and um, the papers and everything up at the top it gives me more space below them to use these larger uh, embellishments on my washing line so now I'm just trying to get my um, cloud print lined up properly and I've overlapped it a little bit so that I have a little bit of the red showing um, on the outer corners but the green goes all the way across the 12 inches and now I can get everything else in place and I was about to put that blue down and it's blue against blue and it needed a bit more weight so um, I have enough of the black to add a little bit of black behind it and that also helps um, keep everything cohesive so I've got the black on both sides but I like having that larger picture I mean it is a larger picture so obviously it's, it's going to bring more attention to it automatically um, but the subject matter was it, which is my three daughters and their three cousins um, I kind of want to bring more presence to that because that was a really cool aspect of our trip so having the double mat helps do that as well as having the larger size so now I'm ready to start working on my washing line of embellishments and um, I had pulled out four different brads I've got two turquoise ones and two red ones I believe um, so I'm gonna have the turquoise ones on the outside and the red ones on the inside of the, the layout and I'm gonna start on the um, left hand side and what I was looking for there was some paper clips so that I can clip this card onto the string I didn't want to punch a hole and sort of try to turn it into a tag or anything like that and um, I, I kind of like the idea of paper clipping it and um, just having it hanging from the washing line and then now I'm just starting to go through all the scraps that I have pulled aside and I had that one it's from a cut apart sheet um, of Maggie Holmes bloom collection that's that multi-toned green sort of fringed um, card and I decided to cut it in half so I can have it on both sides and then I have cut out two red um, colored circles and two floral colored circles and just roughly and I'm going to use my big shot just now to um, cut them neatly into circles so that I can have them on both sides of the layout and I'm just going to continue to go through all my scraps I cut out the word beauty I think it is um, I've got a tag so I'm, I'm just I'm going through everything that I've got piled like all the scraps of paper that I've got piled beside me to find um, little images, icons, tags, um, anything fun that I think will work. So I, I skipped over all of that because it was, it was a bit boring just watching me flip through paper. <laughs> and uh, now I'm ready to start stringing things on. And um, the two 
little, uh, well, the, the one green card that I cut in half, I have now turned into a tag by um, trimming the end into a tag shape and then punching a hole. And um, and I just had to um, move that far and away piece um, in a little bit. And it's just a matter of, of sort of fiddling and finding the right placement. So some are um, strung on there through holes and um, that far and away is going to get that paper clip. And then some I'm just going to <clears throat> basically stick over top of the string and not worry about putting a hole into it, like that ticket that is right beside the green tag. I thought um, maybe I can add more journaling onto that if I need it, um, or I can just put embellishments on it and not worry about it. And then because I had cut out the word beauty for the left hand side that I wanted, sorry, the right hand side, because I wanted that to be under the photo of the six girls, um, I found the word joy, which is also in green. I wanted to keep the colors consistent and that goes on the left hand side. <clears throat> and now I'm ready to work on my washing line for the right hand side. And I hadn't um, punched the holes for the brads um, at the same time as I had punched the other because I wasn't sure if I wanted to have it span the whole um, width of the page or if I wanted to have it just underneath the photo. And then once I decided that I was going to use that journaling card as my actual journaling card and not string it onto the washing line but have it tucked beside the photo, that added some width to the photo so then I could sort of justify a longer clothesline. And you just see me, I have trimmed down that number six and I trimmed down the far and away card just to be a little bit narrower. Um, that way they don't take up quite so much real estate on my washing line. And so now I am just um, adding all the other little bits so that I have repetition on both sides of my clothes, my clothesline. And I have put um, a second paper clip onto that number six, just for some consistency. And that XO tag is going to get a third paper clip, and this one is an Evilicious paper clip, and it's got like a heart on it. Um, so that's just what I'm doing. It's very fiddly to work with the clothing line. Um, clothesline. I've done a few layouts like this. I think I had one. It was also actually um, a Chamel scrap lift where um, I had strung photos onto a clothesline. That, I mean, it was a lot of fun, but it's really fiddly. <laughs> so now I'm, I am starting to work on embellishing these and get it, getting everything um, glued down. And I had fussy cut out a couple of cameras um, from scraps of paper, and those have gone, uh, gone off on pop dots. And then um, I had put pop dots behind the word joy on the left, so I decided to do the same to the word beauty on the right. And now it's time to start my journaling. And I started it by, by starting to write the date. And then I realized that the little green ticket that is stuck right next to that green tag on the right has the word date on it. And I was like, and I had intended to write the date onto that tag. And then I had just gone and started to write the date into my journaling. And I thought, uh oh. So I decided to just continue. I don't have the day. I can't remember which day in August this happened. So I've just left a gap that I can fill that in later. Um, but I just decided to keep going and that I would just make sure that I put embellishment over that um, little green tag with the word date on it. Journaling in place, I can start to do sort of final um, embellishing and the, the, um, the first step in that is a title. So I pulled out those glittery um, thickers from Chamel's Glitter Girl collection and I decided to use the word fabulous and make it a little alliteration and have fabulous family. And I've got two sets of these Glitter Fitzgerald stickers. So um, combining the two sets, I've got plenty of letters to spell out family. And now I have pulled out basically all my sticker sheets that I have sort of set aside for this album. And I'm just looking for things that I can add to my clothesline to sort of fill it out and uh, make it a little bit more special. Everything before this was paper. So um, adding the texture of stickers is um, like a new texture. 
and then um, once the stickers are in place I can look for other things and you can see it's quite a fiddly process so I've gone through quite a few of my sticker sheets I've put a few um, just above my layout there that I want to work in and then um, these sheets have a lot of banners on them and quite a few of them actually have holes in them which I sort of feel like I should have looked through these stickers before I started the layout so that I could have actually strung them onto my clothesline while I was going but um, I didn't want to have to take it uh, take it all apart and try and get those on on the actual strings so um, I looked for ones that didn't have a hole that were just banners and then I've got um, flowers and a couple of butterflies as well just um, stuck to the top of my layout waiting to find proper homes on that same sheet of the glitter word stickers are some stars so I decide um, to pull some in I'm gonna I'm using the bigger ones on the left so that I can pull that turquoise um, glitter over to the left hand side and I put a few little ones on the right and now I'm just trying to find homes for all these stickers so I put one heart on each side of the double page layout and one flower on each side of the double page layout and then finally one butterfly on each side and I was trying I put both of them on pop dots so that I can move them around to figure out which side they need to be on and this butterfly is a little bit bigger so it does a better job of covering up that word date that um, I was looking to cover up so that one goes on the right and then the smaller one on the left with a large glitter star and nothing is finished without some enamel dots so I'm looking to see what I have I pull out that set of sort of jewel strips um, to see if that would work but it's not quite right um, and I found a set of green um, enamel dots that will help pull out the green more so I'm just scattering them around um, no real rhyme or reason to where they have gone on my layout um, I did sort of entertain the notion of putting uh, some enamel dots up at the top left corner of the layout and then I I really felt like I just needed to keep all the embellishment in these clothing lines so that's what I've done um, really the only embellishment um, outside of the clothing line is the title I put that one glittery star next to it so there you go finished layout uh, close-ups of the right hand side and the left hand side and you can see all the different bits and pieces that have gone into these clothes lines it's a lot of fun um, it is quite finicky like I said but um, I think the result is, speaks for itself it's quite stunning um, so much to sort of look at and quite a bit different from my normal double page spread which is which are usually more minimal well thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you again soon bye bye